and welcome to part five of Tucker Phonological Signing. Again, I'm not a trained trainer. I cannot teach other teachers. This video is solely for the purpose of helping my parents and students use the tools I'm teaching them at school when they're at home as well. We'll continue with the letter U. Each letter has its own sound, and each sound is associated with a sign. It's important that we're only using one hand to do each sign, and to remember that the signs are for the sounds and not the letter names. This is the letter U. The letter U makes the sound uh, and the sign for the sound uh is your hand in a cup, so that you can see that your hand is curved, just like the letter U is curved. You put your thumb and your forefinger towards your face, you know, all your fingers are together, put that under your chin, under your chin, and say, uh. The sign and sound for the letter U are uh. This is the letter V. The letter V makes the sound mm, with your teeth on your lip, and you can hear a large vibration from your throat. It's the sound mm. For this sign, you use two fingers. Your thumb is holding down your other fingers. Your hand is turned so that the back of your hand is away from you. You put the two fingers on your throat so you can feel the vibration and you say mm. This is the letter W. The letter W makes the sound W. The, sound, the sign for the sound W is three fingers up, your thumb holding down your pinky, you turn the back of your hand away from you, your thumb towards you, and you say, wuh, wuh. This is the letter X. The letter X makes the sound X. You do the sign for this sound by crossing your fingers and then pushing them down. X, X. You can see that when your fingers are crossed, they look like the letter X. X, X. This is the letter Y. The letter Y is one of the harder ones in the alphabet for most young students to remember the sound for. Uh, the sound for the letter Y is Y. The sign for the sound Y is where you put all your fingers together and you put your thumb up to make a V with your hand. The bottom of your arm makes the bottom part of the lowercase Y. You put that under your chin. It's very important that this makes a V that's different than the curve for the sound uh, because this is a different sound, it's yeah. The sign and sound for this letter are yeah, yeah. The sign and sound for the letter Z are z. It's simply taking one finger, one pointer finger, and creating the Z in the air, writing the letter Z in the air, z. So we'll review these sounds together. This is the letter U, it makes the sound uh. The sign for uh is uh. This is the letter V. The letter V makes the sound mm. The sign for mm is mm. This is the letter W. The letter W makes the sound w. And the sign for the sound w is w. w. This is the letter X. The letter X makes the sound x. The sign is two fingers crossed over. X, x. This is the letter Y. The letter Y makes the sound Y. The sign for Y is making the letter Y with your hand and saying Y, Y. This is the letter Z. The letter Z makes the sound Z. So I hope you've enjoyed learning the sounds for the letters of the alphabet. I'd like to show you again how you can use these sounds as you learn to sound out words. Here would be an example of the word. You could sound this word out using the Tucker phonological signing. You say with Tucker Phonological Signing. Hope you enjoyed learning all the sounds for the letters. There are other sounds. SH makes SH. CK makes K. TH says 
um, many other signs and sounds, but since I teach kindergarten, these are the ones I use on the most regular basis, and I hope this helps you and your child learn the sounds for the letters at home. Thank you.